Good morning and welcome to Saturday. We began with the music to an English country garden. And before you this morning, we have laid out some symbols of an English country garden. Now, the sharp-eyed amongst you may be able to spot fruits before you that don't normally grow in an English country garden. Here in the bunker, we are anticipating global warming and reckon that in a few years' time, we'll be able to grow things like oranges and other fruity matters that are presently grown elsewhere in the world. Here we are. Now, it's Saturday morning then, and we have had close on to 100 respondents to the online questionnaire, which is utterly brilliant. So, please do keep them coming as we are beginning to get some very useful perspectives on both the online worship we offer now and how it may continue, and also how we can look to cater for worshippers once we are allowed to hold services in our churches again. For those of you who would like to participate, uh, you'll be able to find the link in your uh, emailed version of Viral Times. Simply hover your cursor over the blue letters and click. And hey presto, you will be transported to the delights of our questionnaire. Now, despite everything being in lockdown, there is a lot of looking to the future going on right now. Not just making plans for ways to return to what was already being done, but also people making big decisions about their future. So, for example, school children are having to decide where to go next year if they have just done GCSEs or A-levels, and young adults who have finished university are also exploring their options. People who have sadly lost their jobs during lockdown are now looking at future choices. So these are all life-changing and hopefully will prove to be life-enhancing opportunities. But right now, with the normal resources to help people with these choices often unavailable, it is much harder to make informed decisions. So please do spare a thought for anyone who is in this position at the current time. Now, we wish you well for the weekend. Maybe some of you will get to see family for the first time in a while, if, even if only from a distance. Please stay well. Now, you've zoomed in on uh, an English country garden this morning. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to zoom in on an act of worship. For at six o'clock tomorrow, Zoomers will gather from east and west and north and south to participate in our short service. Now, do you Zoom? If not, would you like to? Those are the questions of the moment. If you would like to but don't, we can help you connect up. Just get in touch and we'll do the rest. It's as easy as A, B, C. So in Viral Times today, um, you will find the connection information you need to hook up to our Zoom service tomorrow night. Now, talking of ABC, that brings us very neatly to the alphabet of church life. And today, we're nearly there, folks, because we've reached V. Only a few more letters to go. And V stands for visitors and tourists or tourism. Now, this is an area of our church life which we were just beginning to think about and then lockdown happened. An increasing number of people are visiting our churches and we will be looking at ways in which the cultural and spiritual assets of our churches can be opened up more effectively and probably through forming partnerships with town organisations too. So that's B, visitors and tourism. Now, today, uh, Diana Tyler has sent in a great story um, under the heading, The Long Arm of Coincidence. You may remember that we featured some amazing coincidence stories. Uh, and today is your chance to marvel at the incidence of coincidence. Uh, now, I'm not going to read Diana's story out because it's quite a long one, but it is well worth reading. So do look at your emailed version of the Viral Times and read what Diana has to say. Uh, and I think you'll find it um, a very interesting tale indeed. In uh, Diana's tale is a little photograph of a church, St Hollington in the Wood, and uh, which looks very charming, St Hollington Church in the Wood. So have a look at Diana's story under 
the long arm of coincidence. Now then, what's coming up next? Countdown is coming up next. Um, Silla Franks found the word presently in our conundrum yesterday, and she also came up with another 50 words, which is pretty impressive. Davina and Heinrich Rickheimer and Cheeseman, Joy Rapley and Kate Rawlinson also found presently, with the final, sorry, the last two ladies, Joy and Kate, finding the solution to the numbers game too. What bright sparks they are. And Robertson has found some solutions from a couple of days ago, including the word saintless. Is that a word? I've heard of saintliness, but not saintless, unless it's a typo. Nestles and tensile alongside 105 smaller words. Well, well done, Anne. Now then, to the numbers game. Pat and Steve and Neil on form once again. Glad to see that. And they came up with a solution to the numbers game, uh, which you'll find in Viral Times. Now, letters today are Flag Tower, that's F-L-A-G-T-O-W-E-R. And somewhere in there is a nine-letter word. But how many smaller words can you also find? So we want the nine-letter word and as many smaller words as you can possibly find in Flag Tower. So to numbers, now your numbers today, folks, are 175, 10, 10, 9 and 3. And your target today is 342. Now we began with the theme music to an English country garden, uh, which was a little curtain raiser to our next item, entitled Blooming Marvellous. Now today we begin our look at some of the most stunning gardens in Tenterden through the lens of a camera. Now if you go to the website today, www.tenterdencfe.co.uk, you will find the beautiful garden of David Edison. Now David kindly gave us his time to show us the full beauty of his wonderful garden. Accompanied by some stunning cello music, um, that's recorded, that's not David playing it by the way, David's own commentary, which is David saying it, and a fitting prayer and a Bible verse, we are treated to a garden that shows the glory of God in every leaf, petal and tiny insect. Now, this is the first of a series, as we've said, called Blooming Marvellous. Please do have a look under the website Worship and Viral Times title on the uh, website. And we'd like at this point to thank Lindy Bates and the Tenterden Horticultural Society for helping to make this little series happen. Next week, we visit the garden of Stephanie and Tony Butler and introduce you to Clouts Alley. More will be revealed in a week's time. Now to something new which is appearing today, Pioneers of Faith. This is the title of our new series of Saturday morning reflective services. In it, we're going to be taking a more intimate look at the lives of the apostles. This group of men lived closely with Christ through his ministry and helped to establish the faith through their tireless work and example following Jesus' ascension to heaven. Each little service will consist of music, prayer, a passage from the Bible that tells us something about the Apostle, and a short reflection written as if from their point of view. We begin today, Saturday, with St Matthias, the man chosen by Lot, that's not Lot in the Old Testament, that's Lot as in small letter L-O-T, if you follow me, to take the place of Judas Iscariot. The service will be available on the website and is available on the website from seven o'clock this morning. So it should be up and running. Um, so you can delight in that. And I'm uh, going to tell you it's a real tonic. OK, now we have various items of news from Canterbury Cathedral. We've got a mole at the cathedral, Caroline Playstead, who's a member of St Mildred's and uh, when she's not here, she's secretary to the Friends of the Cathedral. And Caroline uh, keeps us up to date with new happenings at the Cathedral. So what have we got for you today? We have a number of small items. Um, there's the phased reopening to the public. Um, and so the I think the South Precinct is, is going to be, the South Precinct part of the Cathedral is going to be open from today. Um, so do... Uh, visit the website to find out more information about that. 
This is just the first stage of a phased reopening of the cathedral to the public. Obviously, the cathedral is sticking by uh, government guidance, um, hence this phased opening. Right, on to the next item under cathedral news. Um, what have we got? We've got, oh yes, friendly music for well-being. The Friends are proud to have supported a new venture, which launched, launched in January. Thanks to Adrian Bawtry, trustee of the Friends and his wife Victoria, the uh, cathedral has learned, launched the first online session recently and helped to hope, sorry, to launch new sessions on a regular basis. So uh, do have a look at your viral times and find the link to the various um, friendly music for well-being sessions. The fourth one, the latest, features Elvis. Uh, David Newsholm, uh, who is the assistant organist and director of the Neat Girls Choir, uh, is, I think, on the radio, Radio 3. So you might want to listen to that, and there's a link there. And uh, there's a little one here, a little item, I can't believe it is Rutter. John Rutter has recorded a special and very personal introduction to the Lord Bless You and Keep You, which we've sung many times here at St Mildred's. And uh, if you'd like to listen to John Rutter, um, and uh, I guess that must be the girls' choir performing it, uh, there's a YouTube link uh, in your viral times. So have a look at that. So thank you, Caroline, for sending Cathedral News. Always greatly appreciated, and we're delighted to pass the information on to people here. So we've got information about website worship, which consists today of, as we've said, uh, Pioneers of Faith, a little bit about Matthias and that act of worship. And today's ending with a hymn uh, is uh, Come Holy Ghost Our Souls Inspire, and it's been chosen by my dear Carol, uh, who's nominated that hymn. Uh, we've asked for your hymn choices uh, to go in that series, and one or two people have replied with their selection. So if you've got a hymn that you'd like to feature in ending with a hymn, do let us know. So that's website worship. We have uh, thought for the day, reflection, um, preceded by a Bible reading and followed by prayers, and finally contact point. And so I'm going to tuck into the produce of our English country garden and leave you to your Saturday. I hope your day is a good one, whatever you happen to be doing. Please keep safe, please keep praying, and please keep connected. Thank you. Bum 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 b